Kim Hill here, Gun Scare and Freedom. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to clean a uh, semi-automatic pistol magazine. Uh, kind of a little tutorial here on uh, how uh, this one's out of a Springfield XDM uh, 9mm and I'm going to break it down and uh, clean it for you guys and show you how, uh, how this particular magazine uh, breaks down. So, bear with me and I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to obviously take the magazine out of the gun. I've already done that, uh, so we don't have to do that. This gun is empty. We're not even using it for this video other than the fact to show that it came out of this uh, gun. So we're going to take our magazine and we're going to make sure that uh, it doesn't have any bullets in it. Uh, I already took my bullets out, so they're right there. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do on this magazine is you'll notice on the bottom side there is a little like metal type deal there and I'm going to use a really small tool you could use a paper clip really anything you want um, and you want to depress that button down with your paper clip and then you want to slide the uh, just slide this cap right off be careful that the spring inside does not shoot out of there because it will if you let it Kind of a, there. I caught the spring with my thumb, and uh, it comes apart like that. So you sit this down here, pull your spring out, and then you have the little plastic piece that uh, is at the top of the magazine. Uh, so all that comes out, and you should have a uh, hollow tube in there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, toothbrush that I have for gun cleaning and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to pretty much um, you know brush it all out as good as I can um, and try to do it really well uh, if you deem it necessary I don't recommend it but if you deem it necessary and your magazine is really dirty and has not been cleaned in a long time you may squirt some uh, cleaner or lube on your toothbrush don't do it inside the magazine because too much oil in the magazine uh, can lead to a lot of uh, problems meaning that uh, residue will build up inside oil inside your magazine and probably cause malfunction hopefully not but uh, try putting a little coating of oil on your toothbrush instead and scrubbing it out um, once you've scrubbed it out take a rag uh, my rags buried with the gun and the extra parts I'm going to sit all that stuff off the side of my rag really quick and uh, you can take your rag and kind of feed it up into the magazine tube and uh, once you get it to the other end just pull it through and uh, the thing will be practically brand new clean but uh, yeah just pull the rag out of the tube like so and then uh, if you look through that sucker it's practically clean Once you have uh, wiped out your magazine with your rag, uh, you'll notice here that I've reset everything so you can see the parts better and everything. Um, you can take the plastic piece or the insert to your magazine. Uh, this is the part that basically the bullets rest on and it forces the bullets up in the magazine. Uh, take your toothbrush again, kind of scrub that off a little bit. Get all the gunk out of there that you can because there will be some brass uh, shavings, some uh, residue from gunpowder, stuff like that. Just kind of get get it with your toothbrush and uh, you can wipe it off with a rag and uh, it's no big deal. Then of course you want to service your spring, kind of give it a little bit of scrub with your toothbrush here. And uh, some people like to lubricate these. Um, again, you can spray some uh, lube on your toothbrush and uh, kind of rub the toothbrush over the spring to keep it from rusting and last but not least you have the bottom plate um, it will usually have a bunch of gunk in there just same thing toothbrush try to scrub all the crevices out and then you can wipe it with your rag again and uh, then you will be ready to reassemble your magazine so take your magazine tube here and you insert the plastic insert into there make sure it's in the right way it can only go in one way and uh, I have mine in backwards so one second um, it's still backwards. what the heck all right now it's in the right okay so then once you get that inserted you want to get your spring in the right way uh, again that only goes in one way 
and uh, you'll notice that there is that needs to be going towards the uh, front take your bottom plate and let's see if I'm doing this correctly it's kind of painful sometimes to do this exactly perfect but uh, you get it started on these rails push it forward push that spring down under it and clips into place and uh, there you have it your magazine is now ready to uh, load